Today's narrow topic is about ascending and descending tracks up and down the spinal cord. We'll go over three main ones for each column and give you some hints to help you remember them. The first ascending tract that we'll go over is the dorsal column medial lemniscus tract. It is known for vibration and tactile discrimination. The second ascending tract is the spinothalamic tract. This is known for sensing pain and temperature. The third ascending tract is the spinocerebellar tract. It can sense proprioception. A silly mnemonic to help remember your ascending tracts is DCSS. Think of discharges in PT and ascending. So in PT, your goals are ascending if you have a lot of discharges. So think ascending, your goals in PT are ascending if you have lots of discharges. So we have the D for dorsal column, and then you have S for spinothalamic, and S for spinocerebellar. Now to help you remember between the different ones, the only one I could come up with is spinothalamic with a T is for temperature, but that also has a T. And spinocerebellar with a C um, helps with proprioception that also has a C. Next, we'll go over the descending tracts. There's three main ones that we'll go over. The first one is vestibulospinal, and this one go, um, helps with your anti-gravity muscles and postural reflexes. The second descending tract is the corticospinal tract, and this one helps with our voluntary motor control. The last descending tract we'll talk about is the reticulospinal tract, and this is known for transmitting pain. So when you're thinking descending tracts and trying to remember which ones, think of VCR. It's a old way we used to watch movies and videos for those of you who might not have had to experience one, but think of VCR and think of what is being is descending in use and popularity. VCRs. We have our vestibulospinal, corticospinal, and reticulospinal. So now that we know what these tracks do, let's see where they're located inside the spinal cord. We'll start with our ascending tracks first in the dorsal column medial lemniscus. It's going to go up here in a big fat old triangle. Dorsal column medial lemniscus. And I'm just demonstrating on one half of the spinal cord for ascending, and then I'm demonstrating on the other half of the spinal cord for the descending. But knowing in real anatomy, it will be mirror images of each other uh, equal on each side. So we've got the first one. The second one, spinocerebellar, are these long tubes that kind of run along the border here. And you can kind of think of it because they kind of make a crescent shape or a C. So these are your spinocerebellar locations. And then the last one is spinothalamic. The lamic one comes in here and wraps around this horn, as well as a little dot here. So we got spinothalamic, spinothalamic, spinocerebellar, and the dorsal column medial lemniscus. Now for our descending tracts, we're gonna go over the corticospinal, the vestibulospinal, and the reticulospinal. The corticospinal is up here, it's kind of a big old triangle. Corticospinal. And then there's another part of it down here. This is also part of the corticospinal. The vestibulospinal is down here. And then the reticulospinal is a small spot centrally here for reticulospinal. Remember your VCR for descending and popularity and use, and your ascending, your goals if you get a lot of discharges. Discharges. I hope this helps with you learning your ascending and descending tracks for, to study for the exams.